hello guys welcome back to my channel and today we are talking about the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra samsung galaxy note 20 ultra was released back in 2020 and this is 2024 so it's been four years this smartphone was released and in this video i'm just gonna be talking about this smartphone and maybe it's still worth buying in the year 2024 after four years of release, maybe Samsung Galaxy Note 20 is the worst buy. Let's jump into the video. Let's go. First off is the design of this phone. The design of this phone is fantastic. It really feels premium whenever you hold this phone because it is made out of glass. The front and back is glass, while the frame is still and steel. And on the front side, we have the 6.9 inches display the display is massive here on the samsung galaxy note 20 ultra and that is the first point you have big bigger display and which is also applicable to this newer device here which is the s24 the s23 ultra you also have bigger display and on the back too we have huge bags and the camera bump is also huge the camera bump really makes a lot of sense with the design it makes the phone look more superb and more premium and the camera bump sometimes does make your phone wobble whenever you place it on a flat surface it wobbles which is not that good but when you put case when you put case on the phone all the wobbliness will just disappear it will not wobble again everything will just feel smooth on the surface and also the back is made out of glass so you have to be careful whenever you're using this phone so that you won't drop this phone well don't i say be careful you don't miss that you won't drop it i know that sometimes you may accidentally drop your phone and samsung got to cover because this back is made out of coin going at glass Victor, which is a very strong glass samsung claimed would be back then in 2020 but now due to aging and some factors i know the glass will be weakened and it will not be as strong as when it was released because we don't have the new phone we only have the refurbished or the used ones i can get these ones the refurbished phone just asking in on amazon or aliexpress or ebay for less than 400 dollars now which is not really cheap but it's still better of some Midrange phone and also the screen here yeah, let's talk about the screen the screen comes with 6.9 inches display which is massive media consumption on this phone is top notch i mean it's top notch we have this huge display and just little bezels on the top and bottom which make media consumption gaming perfect on this phone and also we have the pin o camera cutout that means you are not taking large amount of space for your camera, just dots for your camera, which is also great. And also the display supports 120 Hz refresh rate, but there's a cache. It only works on 68. It only works on QHD. That's just the cache there. But aside from that, this display is really smooth and the animation is top notch on this phone. And also the display, we have the current granular glass too. Victor's that is protecting the front glass, which makes this glass rugged and strong. So don't mind dropping it, it will still be strong. And mind you, you have to still be careful. I recommend you buying a screen protector for your phone in order not to spread a sharp box fixing the screen and now let's talk about the cameras the front cameras is 10 megapixel camera while at the rear we have the 108 main megapixel camera we have for that 108 megapixel camera is for the wide camera we also have 12 megapixel camera and other 12 megapixel camera we have two 12 megapixel camera and a main other 8 megapixel camera this camera really shoots amazing photos shoots amazing videos i can still get 
good quality videos and good quality pictures out of this phone even if it is four years now the camera is okay and also the front camera we have the 10 megapixel camera the front camera also take good looking selfie and the selfie is not bad till date the selfie is still okay so if you are looking for camera this one is it there this one is get to cover you can still get them your videos some of your photos done snappy and the camera is just great the face id works perfectly on this phone which is also fantastic the first camera can shoot at 4k which is also a huge one no mid-range phone can give you all the specs you are getting on this older flagship and at the rear too the rear camera can shoot at 8k video this can shoot 8k videos which is massive and which is great and also it comes with a letter laser pointer at the back which enable auto focus goes on smoothly and this letter focus at the back help you to focus on your object faster than normal because on the s20 ultra samsung really go wrong with the camera so they have to introduce the new technology for the laser in order to focus on your audio so, and for the performance of the samsung galaxy no 20 ultra we have the snapdragon a65 shape set which is powerful as at 2020 and also it's still powerful now because it can't do all your games properly anything you throw at it it can do it perfectly and also the phone also come with 12 gig ram which is massive and you can still extend it if you like and we have 128 gig room for the base modern uh, we have 256 and 512 depending on the one you want the you know, 20 ultra get you covered now so this let's talk about more about this processor some regions we have the exynos processor why some we have the snapdragon processor but it's better for you to get the snapdragon processor whenever you are getting a samsung galaxy no 20 ultra in 2024 or more the processor also helps in processing the 8 k videos shot by the camera and it processes very well, very smooth. It can handle all games smoothly. You can do Call of Duty, PUBG, Mobile, Free Fire, any game you try at it, it's going to handle it perfectly. And the world that is coming, I'm sure that it's going to handle it very well. And lastly, the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra are coming three different colors we have the mystic bronze we have the mystic black and the mystic white and depending on the one you want you can go for the black or for the brown for the white depending on your choice and this also galaxy those 20 ultra is far far more better than some mid-range phone you will get another price point so it's better for you to go for the Samsung like galaxy notes 20 ultra if you are not focused on the software patches of software updates in the future but if you are just a normal student or normal basic phone user the note 20 ultra is still one of the best one you can get in 2024